Welcome in this next video about the iOS device setup and specifically we will start with the physical device setup. So if you want to use an old iPhone to do your pen test, I think it's a perfectly fine approach. It has some disadvantages like downgrading OS versions, which might be difficult, but it is still a good option. So the first step you need to take is to buy an old iPhone or if you already have an old iPhone, then you can use it of course. So at the moment the latest iPhone is the iPhone 16, which will cost you around thousand dollars or euros which is way too expensive i would say for a test device so typically you will pick an older device to do your pen testing so for example the iphone 10 still can do or an iphone 12 maybe so this iphone 12 still supports the latest os but also older os which can be easily jailbroken so if you want to test with an older iphone you should first select your device and then look into jailbreaks so which jailbreaks are supported for my device and if we look into jailbreaking, then we have four types of jailbreaking. Tether, semi-tethered, untethered, and semi-untethered. Tethered means that you have to connect it to a PC. And every time you reboot it, the jailbreak will completely be gone. So this is the worst type of jailbreak. The second type of jailbreak is that you need to reboot it every time via a computer connected. Then we have untethered. Untethered means that after every reboot, still the jailbreak is gone, but via an app on your phone, you can reactivate it again by just one click. And semi-untethered, which is the best one, with this jailbreak, after every reboot, it is still effective. So that's in short the types of jailbreaks. And this website, the Apple Wiki, is also a very good resource for jailbreaks and all kinds of information. So if you go to this Apple Wiki jailbreak page, for example, it also explains you the type of jailbreaks but also for all types of operating systems, it tells you which jailbreak is currently active and you can click on it for more information. And it also tells you which devices based on the chipsets are supported for this jailbreak. So for example, for the iPad, there are also jailbreaks supported for the latest version of iOS, but for the iPhone, the latest version supported for a jailbreak is somewhere in the 16 at the moment. So if you have an iPhone 14, for example, it's still possible to jailbreak it until iOS 16.5 and the tool you can use for this is called Dopamine. So this website will give you all the information about the jailbreaks and the release history. And of course you can also go to the official websites to really install those jailbreaks. But we will not go into more detail about jailbreaking. So if you have a physical device, it is very useful, I would say almost mandatory to jailbreak it. So please follow these sources if you want to do it. And if you successfully jailbroke your device, then most of those jailbreaks by default also provide you a package manager, which is an alternative app store where you can install additional tweaks and apps. So some popular package managers are Cilio or Cydia. And there's also a so-called troll store, which is also an app you can install your device. And with this troll store, you can install any IPA without signing it. So those are just the common tools you will use on the jailbroken device. Then let's move on with the iOS simulator setup. So if you have Xcode installed on your machine, then by default it comes with all the simulators for all the different iOS versions. So if you update Xcode, it will provide you with the latest simulators for the latest iOS devices. So you can build your app and then you can test it on a simulator. So if you build an app, it will automatically start this simulator and then you can also run your app on this simulator. So that's the other option. If you have macOS, then this is also a good option to test your apps. And then there is a Corellium device setup. So Corellium provides virtual hardware, they say. So they provide iOS simulators with different versions and also some tools to easily manage the device and connect with the devices. And in the next video, I will also show you how to use the Mobile Hacking Lab integrated devices. So I hope to see you in the next video.